Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're studying the Bible at 1 Samuel chapter 6, verses 1 to 10. Let's lay them all out, and then we'll talk about it. Now, the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months. And the Philistines called for the priests and the diviners, saying, What shall we do with the ark of the Lord? Tell us how we should send it to its place. So they said, If you send away the ark of the God of Israel, do not send it empty, but by all means return it to him with a trespass offering. Then you will be healed, and it will be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then they said, What is the trespass offering which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden tumors and five golden rats, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines. For the same plague was on all you and on your lords. Therefore you shall make images of your tumors and images of your rats that ravage the land, and you shall give glory to the God of Israel. Perhaps he will lighten his hand from you and from your gods and from your land. Why then do you harden your hearts as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts? When he did mighty things among them, did they not let the people go that they might depart? Now therefore make a new cart, take two milk cows which have never been yoked, and hitch the cows to the cart, and take their calves home away from them. Then take the ark of the Lord and set it on the cart, and put the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in a chest by its side. Then send it away and let it go. And watch, if it goes up the road to its own territory, to Beth Shemesh, then he has done us this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that struck us. It happened to us by chance. So here's the instructions. Remember, they found that uh, they put this in the temple their, of their temple of Dagon, their god, their main deity, and things went all completely troubled from there for them. Their false god, Dagon, their image was found bowing at the foot of the ark and different things like that were happening. People were becoming sick and getting tumors. Their people tell them, make golden images of tumors. Put them in, in a box beside the ark. They're to make images of these tumors, put them in, make images of rats, put them in. And so they're going to send back a bunch of gold with this ark. Very interesting. They're basically making a trespass offering. They're, they're wanting to be forgiven and to be reconciled with the God of the Hebrews. They're going to send this back, and there's two questions. If it works out this way, we'll believe that the God of Israel did this to us. If it works out the opposite way, we'll know this just happened by chance. But, boy, this whole preparation doesn't sound very much like something that's happened by chance to me. Does it sound like something that's happened by chance to you? No, and it doesn't sound to the Philistines like something that's happened by chance. This all began when they defeated Israel in battle and got the Ark of God, and suddenly they're getting sick and dying, and everything is, is problematic now. So the Philistines are going to be respectful and return the Ark of God to that God with great care. I find it to be very interesting how how reverent they suddenly become, how, how interested in proper procedure they suddenly become. Back to us. The, the, the thing that got this started in the wrong line was what? God had not commanded them ever to take the ark into battle without his instruction to do so. And yet some, some brilliant person stood up and said, hey, I know what we should do. Let's take the ark of God into battle with us. And they all said, yeah, let's do it. God is going to turn evil to good. He's going to educate the Philistines and help them have a respect for the God of the Hebrews. By the way, did you notice that what happened back in Egypt with Pharaoh and the deliverance, the exodus, did you notice that the Philistines know all about that? That's at the top of their list of things, you know, their Wikipedia entry about the Hebrews. That's at the top of their list. The God of the Hebrews is, is a very powerful God. We do not want to offend him. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, the Philistines are now being very respectful. They want to return this, and they want to return it just right. Help us, Lord, to learn a lesson from the pagans here and give you the respect that is due your holy name. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we give him respect, the respect he's due, it will only turn out to our good. God be with you today as you serve the Lord Jesus in this this despairing and dirty world, serve him in purity, he will bless.